everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Graders, here's what to expect. Today we have with us an experienced science curriculum writer, Ms. Jodi, who will share with us what a primary 5 student will be learning for science in February. So Jodi, what are they learning in February? Okay, for P5, they will be focusing on a more in-depth topic on water, which is actually the water cycle. Okay, so I remember last month on water cycles, they were learning about the different processes of water changing states such as condensation and evaporation. So what key concepts will they be touching on this month? Okay, for this month, uh, they actually will be an elaboration of the processes of the water cycle. Uh, uh, so there's actually, a, here is the water cycle picture shown and which students have to remember which part does these processes, evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection actually happens. And next is that the students have to learn what the standard answering technique in water cycle questions and we actually go through these later in the commonly tested question. Okay great, so now let's move on to the common misconceptions that students have. The students tend to actually mix up water vapour and water droplets. Uh, water vapour is actually a gas and water droplet is actually a liquid. And the another one is that they tend to forget or to have missing keywords when answering the standard answering techniques for water cycle questions. Okay, seems like there are a lot of answering techniques that we need to go through, so let's move on to the commonly tested questions now. Okay, for commonly tested questions, there are actually a set of keywords that students must include for the answer to explain the processes. For example, in this question, okay, students actually have to explain the processes of evaporation and condensation. So, the, they have to actually mention the keyword which is shown in the answer here. The keyword is water, gain heat from a heat source, in this case the sun, evaporates into water vapour, it touches a cooler inner surface, loses heat, condense, and water droplets. And next, we also have another uh, question whereby it is simple but we tend to make mistakes in this. Uh, over here, if you look at this question, they have to actually identify the state of water and also the correct processes in the water cycle. So this is actually a deep following marks question where students can obtain marks easily, so they have to memorize this water cycle. Okay, so to allow you and your child to have a better understanding of water cycle and its states, we have specially prepared a content piece for you that consists of the commonly tested question that Miss Jodi went through just now. So if you're interested, click on the link below to get access to it. Thank you. Thank you. To watch more of such videos and information to help your child improve and learn ahead of others in school, visit our website www.agrader.sg, click on this button, fill in your email address and receive all these useful videos straight in your inbox for free. As well as the latest in promotions so that you don't lose out on great deals with A Grader Learning Centre.